So I was driving to meet up with Joe tomorrow to do some fossil hunting, but since I can't stay still for more than a couple hours, and I have a very strong need to find fossils, and I conveniently had this wetsuit in my car, I am gonna take a quick break to check out a couple hidden creek locations I know about and see if I can't find some nice Ice Age fossils. The first spot we're gonna be going to is this cool limestone shelf that um, acts as a trap for some of these fossils. And uh, there's like a little mini cave system in it too, which is awesome. But let's see if I can't find some cool stuff for you guys in this little hour break. And then we'll meet up with Joe tomorrow. We'll find some awesome possum fossils. Whew. Well, here is that spot. There should be that limestone shelf over in here. But it looks nasty. I'm not looking terribly much forward to getting in there. But where there are fossils, I will be jumping right in. I think we might have a mask on too. It might just be a partial one, but I see an animal exposed to a little bit of root. Ah, oh, shame. Look at those really gorgeous colors. Ooh. Would have been awesome. Here are those two pieces of mastodon enamel that I found just a second ago. Looks like really fresh breaks, but I didn't find any more of the tooth. It's a shame. You don't normally save them before they get broken up like this, but still, really cool piece of huge teeth. Huge! Jeez. And that is a really nice horse tooth. Lower in the back of the jaw would have been right, lower back, right jaw. Extinct Ice Age horse. Killer. Tiger shark tooth. Little guy is almost, well no he is, perfect. Really awesome shark tooth. Oh, 
Yes, 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 yes. I think there's a bear too. I think. This is a carnival pizza. Now this is incredibly unique. And there are only a couple options in my head of what this could be. First of all, it is definitely Predator, which is one of the rarest things to find Ice Age Predator fossils. It's either a dire wolf premolar, or less likely, an early Miocene bear dog premolar. So I'm super psyched to have found this. If you guys think you know what it is, or if you think it's not one of those two options, please let me know in the comments. And I cannot wait to figure out what this super rare, awesome, little molder is. Wow. And that's an unfortunate broken bison tooth. Hmm. That is a really interesting finger bone. I do not know what this is either. It'd be cool if it's Predator, but I don't think it is. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments below what you think it might be, and I will be happy to follow up with you guys and do some research. But that's an awesome piece. I'm happy to add that to the collection. Alright, I'm calling this short creek hunt. I gotta get back on the road, but seeing that bear dog tooth or dire wolf tooth, I don't know which it is, but that was awesome. And the fact that there's mastodon teeth here too, and I know the broken pieces, but this is a cool spot. I'll definitely have to check this out in more detail in the future, but um, let's get back on the road and let's find Joe. Let's go meet him up tomorrow. Just a basic fossil hunter tip for you guys. When you're out looking for spots and you find a cool, sketchy looking road like this, that means you are on your way to fossils for sure. For sure. All right, it's day two. I'm out in the woods. Joe's already out here. I'm gonna go find him, meet him up, and uh, we'll get this taken care of. Go find some rocks and fossils. Holy crap. What's up? That's a Joe. You wanna go find some rocks, buddy? Ow, yep. <laughs> We're gonna go hike, get out of here, and bring you guys some awesome Pleistocene Age fossils. They're out here, in the woods. Ooh. So this fence must have been made I don't know what, 40, 50 years ago, Joe? Yeah. It's really become part of the tree. I don't know exactly how I feel about that, but it's kind of interesting to see how old this barbed wire fence is and how it's become part of yonder tree. Tree trying to keep us out. Tree's trying to do what? Keep us out. No, it's got a nice little opening right there. There's where we're going. For a wad. All right, we've been hiking for a while. And we're at our first stop for the day. We're going to check out this beautiful hole where we've got a bunch of mastodon bones from before we keep on hiking out of here. Because we've got a lot of hiking to do before we can keep exploring. So hopefully there's something in there. If not, got to get back in the woods and find some more spots. So it's about eight feet deep there, but there is a big wind bone that's just eroded out. And it is sweet. So I'm going to jump down there and show you guys what I'm talking about. So that bone is super delicate, 
so what we're going to do is we're going to leave it in here and if we have you know time and space we're going to carry it out of here if not we're going to have to come back here with maybe like a jacket or something and get it out we should be able to carry it though but we want to be really careful with that so we're going to leave it in the water and a shirt and you make like a little like a carrier for it yeah so we're gonna we're gonna do it right but we're now we're gonna leave it in there and we're gonna bow to head to a new spot and do some exploring so cool to see that big bone i'll give one one more look before we go All right, we're heading to the next spot. Down the river. Down the river, doll. <laughs> Joe, you're looking good. My weight belt's over my fat roll. Your weight belt's over your fat roll. Let's go find Sweet. some fossils. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Sketch whack pond. What? We're gonna see many. You know, Jordan, you taught me what these are. What? Sketch whack ponds. Oh. It's an important lesson I've learned in my fossil hunting career. You don't go in the sketch ponds. You don't go in the sketch ponds, exactly. So we're having to take a quick break because that thorn went straight into my foot that I just stepped on. And Joe's gonna get it out. <sighs> I just... Maybe we'll save you guys the... Um... So we weren't able to get that thorn out, but we're already out in the middle of nowhere. It's gonna be a two hour hike anyway, so we're gonna keep on hunting. And, My uh, witch doctrine didn't work. Yeah, his witch doctrine. I just doctrine. pushed it in further. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to try using the balls of my feet and we're going to get back moving. So we're at the next hole that we're going to be checking. And at the end of this beautiful area, there might be mastodon fossils. Right in there. Here we go. Time to get cold again. Wow, so that is such a gorgeous tooth. Maybe camel, possibly bison. We'll Probably have to get it bison. ID'd. Probably bison, you think? I think so. Bison premolar. Very sweet. That is one chonky horse tooth. Very cool. There's a tooth in there. There's a whole tooth. There's a horse tooth. I've called Joe over and we're gonna go look at it and pick it up. That's awesome. I was not expecting that. Woohoohoo! You ready, Joe? Get this mask on. Alright, follow me. It's over underneath the log. <laughs> Would you look at that free molar? I think it's so worn down. That is an awesome mastodon on tooth, dude. Ooh, the enamel's almost uh, translucent. That's gorgeous. That popped out this season. Yep. Wow. Wow, wow. Ho, 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 ho. That is so sweet. 
This thing is absolutely gorgeous. That tooth is beautiful. The enamel's almost translucent. The roots are so thin and delicate. Now this animal, this wear on this tooth is natural. So this would have been the first tooth in the jaw and it would have started out in the rear of the jaw and moved forward. And over the course of the animal's life, it would have chewed down its tooth and polished the chewing surface like you see here. That's an amazing Mastodon premolar. You don't normally find these worn premolars because once the enamel gets chewed through, the tooth becomes kind of unstable. But that's incredible. That is such a freaking awesome tooth. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Let's keep hunting. Gotta get to the next spot. Finding that mastodon tooth is definitely a trip maker, but there's still one or two spots that Joe and I need to check out. And so, Joe's all yeah, relaxed it over there. Something to make leaving the house worth it today. Yeah, Joe needs to find something nice. So we're gonna get back on the river, get you guys some more fossils. Another one of those mysterious gross roads into the woods. But they normally bring you to fossils, hopefully. An abandoned cabin too. This is odd. Final spot of the day. This dark, dank hole. Go, let's go find some stuff. Mm -hmm. We just finished heading that spot. Last spot of the day wasn't much. We're gonna start hiking out of here and we're gonna go pick up that mastodon tooth and those other little fossils. And then I uh, guess that'll be it for today. I didn't find nothing. Joe got skunked. I found a horse tooth. It was cute. So we didn't have an incredible amount of finds, but I will always take quality over quantity. And this worn mastodon tooth is really incredible. It's one of my best worn teeth. Might be my best worn tooth that I've ever found. This bison or camel tooth, gorgeous colors, great fine. And that is as big as horse teeth get. That's a chonker. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be bringing you guys a video every week now. So keep track and stay tuned to the channel for so many more awesome fossil hunting adventures in Florida, out west, all that stuff. So thanks so much again and catch you guys on the next video.